up YouTube it's your boy the franchise guy come back at you again with another episode of Madden 19 my career featuring Chance Bishop and this right here is episode 25 we are 25 episodes into this series I know I've missed a couple uploads I know 25 should have probably been about three or four weeks ago I I just couldn't have got, I don't know, man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I made you guys wait this long for an episode that should have come out two or, th yeah, like I said, four or five weeks ago, probably. I know I missed two weeks, I don't know, I want to say around Christmas time, I missed two weeks, and then I've missed a couple weeks since then, I thought, during those two weeks, I just, you know, thought when I came back, I was just get everything so everything set up so I had, you know, a buffer to get everything ready so I can upload and just again and be ahead of everything again. Uh, but it just didn't work like that. I didn't have enough buffer to sit there and comfortably upload episodes where if I couldn't do something for a week, uh I uh just didn't have an episode for that week. So like, I know, like, speaking of Buffer, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, like, um, my 2K My Career series. I haven't filmed an episode of, of 2K My Career in, I want to say, three or four weeks, at least, if not more, uh, just because I was ahead of that to the point where I could not do that for a little bit just to catch up on all the episodes I've had filmed so all my Madden videos that I just couldn't have gotten to but I mean it's it's a shame I wish I had more free time to do YouTube it really is I literally work two jobs I work what was it this past week I worked uh, 27, I guess, what, what week am, is this coming out? Well, I'm recording this, I just worked 27 hours in three days. I mean, it's not, not the worst. I know there are people out there who work 12, 13-hour shifts every day, seven days a week. Uh, yeah, so, but I'm also juggling that with college. I need to study, and I have uh, quizzes, and I have homework, and projects I have to do. I'm a film major. So, I'm not entirely sure. Everyone knows what RTF majors do. It's Rio Television Film. There's a lot of editing involved, a lot of projects involved. I have a project where I have to uh, do an interview and then make an interesting story out of the interview, which doesn't really make much sense when you think about it. That the professor wants us to interview someone, but then make it interesting. But uh, let's get back to this gameplay right there. You saw that was a great interception by Ronald Darby. Not only did it bounce off Darby, like, I think it bounced off his arm or his face, and then he caught it for an interception, and Swa Cravens right here gets an interception just to pretty much wrap this game up. This Eagles team is great. I mean, you saw the weather. This weather went from great to worse. It's just some inclement weather. Now, I think what really happened is I had lost connection during the middle of filming this episode. And then when I came back into this first game right here, the weather decided to change. Uh, so right here, you see the uh, Seattle has 17 total yards of offense. Not a good game for this uh, Seattle team. You're not going to win if you have 17 total yards of offense. I am sorry. But there is zero chance you win with 17 total yards of offense. Getting back into this Redskins game. I know you played the Redskins last episode, but we're playing them again this episode. And, uh, yeah, no, it's pretty fun. I have no clue that Wesovich. I have no clue who that man is. Brandon Brooks, he's still on the team, though. Carson Wentz is our fearless leader at quarterback. I mean, I don't know, I think that's Josh Adams right there. Nelson Aguilar, we're currently 9-0 on the season. Uh, Cowboys and Skins are both in the hunt. 
hopefully after this game, put them down to four and six and uh, end their playoff hopes. I mean, one could only hope at least. Am I right? Just hope that we can end a team's playoff hopes. That would be the best thing possible, honestly. Uh, first and ten right now. Interception. Ronald Darby. Doing what he has done. That's not Ronald Darby. Who, who, who do I think that was that? Who is that? Who is that man? That is not Ronald Darby. That is Ono Dixon. His third interception of the season. Pick six is in back to back weeks. I know we got pick six last week at least. Or yeah, last week. Last game. The kind of like last week. Oh uh, yeah, no, look at that. That's great right there. Good for Ono Dixon. He's having a breakout year. Probably gonna make a Pro Bowl at this rate. Look at that. Jumps the that's an Eli Manning pass right there. To the fact where he just throws a ill advised pass. And uh, it just uh, ends up getting intercepted for a pick six. Straight Eli Manning. Interception right there. Classic, really. Classic. Get the little sack right there, Sacky Do. I mean, Chance Bishop. Just the best, you know, blitzing linebacker in the history of blitzing linebackers. Like, move aside LT. Move aside, you know, Julius Pepper. All of these guys. Just, they're just not it. Look at that, Chance Bishop getting off the block, chasing down Austin Eckler, the running back. Gets the tackle right there from behind. Probably saved the first down, really. I mean, three-yard gain or a first down? I take the three-yard gain. Look at that, another sack right here. Is that our second sack of the year? It's our second sack of the game. Chance Bishop waving to the crowd. Showing this Phillies team that, you know, he's still the best. Right now, he's forcing the fumble. Gallipo picking it up and just getting sacked or tackled right there. I mean, Chance Bishop right there. Put the spin move on him. Spun it around. Got the sack. Another fumble right there from the quarterback. Chance Bishop's second and fourth fumble, I think. Gallipo with the recovery. Look at that. Hit from the front, spun around, Gallipo just there to dive on it right away. Third and five right now for this Redskins team, and we're just taking them down hard. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. We're taking this quarterback down hard to the ground. This offensive line just can't handle, can't handle chance. They're taking a chance, and, you know, trying to block him, and it's just not working out. Bishop's move diagonally. And that's what he did right there. He just went on a beeline for that quarterback. I think it's Zach Burton or Zane Burton. But Burton just got wrecked. No way around it. He just got wrecked. 26-2. Great game from the Eagles. Upgrading again. Gets another, another little bonus right there for having a five-sack game. Up to a 96 on the power rush right there. It's funny, though. We started this series out as a... You know, pass coverage linebacker. We were guarding deep balls, and now we're, you know, the best pass rushing player in the history of pass rushing players. There's no way around it. We may not be the number one overall sack leader. That's still Bruce Smith as of right now. But uh, by the end of probably next season, we'll be the number one overall sacking Linebacker, I guess, quarterback, sacker, whatnot. Problem is, though, Madden does not uh, think that I am worthy, though, and that my legacy score is not all the way there, unfortunately. So, uh, we're definitely going to have to have another couple big seasons to just be classified for the Hall of Fame. I mean,. I don't know what to do, honestly. It's just something that needs to be done. Look at that. Bennett McLeod up for the kick return. I mean, slow game so far, Chance Bishop. Gets his first sack right there. Trips him up by the ankle. I mean, nice little sack right there. Does a little pop and squat. Look at that. His 43rd sack of the season. Oh, boy. 43 sacks in one season. What is this? This is game 
This is the third game of this episode. We started the season all after the first game. We're 9-0, 10-0. Eleven. This is our 11th game of the season. And, uh, what is that? That's our 44th sack. So we're still 45th tackle. Oh, uh, so that's just 45th tackle. Okay. I mean, it's just a tackle right there. So we're at 44 sacks. 44 sacks. Uh, 11 games into the season. Four sacks a game. I mean, we're not even putting up those that crazy of numbers. We're just getting the quarterback consistently. That's all we're doing. Look at that. First and 10. And we're just going to keep... We're just going to stay consistent. We're forcing a timeout right now. Look at that. Second and 19. You know, they got a field goal out of it. It's whatever. But Chance Bishop... Some say he doesn't fight the run good enough. Some say he's not. Doesn't challenge running backs right there. He challenges the running back. Gets bowled over a little bit. But, you know, he holds on. And again, challenging the running back this time. Got a tackle for loss. Gets him in the backfield. Higgins is a big dude. He really is. I think he's as big as Bishop. But, uh, Bishop's fourth tackle of the game. First and ten. And we're just going to get a sack right there. Her fourth sack of the game. 45th of the season. I mean, the problem with us being on par with four sacks a game is that when we get over, we get over. Look at that. Chance Bishop chasing down to Sean Watson. Sean Watson still has some legs on him. Where are we? We're four seasons, four or five seasons in. I think this is our fifth season. And, uh, so what? This is... Deshaun Watson's seventh season? Or sixth or seventh? Sixth season. Because he's two seasons ahead of us. Sixth sack of the game right there for Bishop. Bishop fourth and twelve. You know, in the face of Deshaun Watson. And it's just going to be an interception right there. I mean, Bishop gets the block right there. Number 25 is going to go to the house. Pick six. Who is that? That is not Ono oh Dixon. That is not it's Swa Cravens. Is that who's that? Is that Cravens? That seems like a thing Cravens would do. I can't see who that is. It's, it's jiggling too much. I do not know who that is. I cannot tell. I think it's Cravens. I'm gonna say Swa Cravens. Yep, Swa Cravens got a uh, Swa Cravens got a pick six right there. Good for him. So we end up winning 33 to 3. I mean that interception pretty much sealed the game. Regardless, it just sealed the game for this Eagles team, even though we were already blowing them out. Final game of this episode. Take it on the Dallas Cowboys. And no one likes the Cowboys. I'm sorry. If you're a Cowboys fan, you were not loved as a child. There is no way around it. You were not loved enough as a child if you became a Cowboys fan. See, what do Cowboys fans get their girlfriends for the anniversary? Nothing. They just talk about the one that got them 20 years ago. And at this point in this franchise, I guess this career, it's going on probably almost 30 years since the Cowboys have won a Super Bowl. The Eagles in that time frame have won three three Super Bowls the Eagles have won since uh, the Cowboys have won one I mean it happens I'm sorry yeah guys it happens it's hard to not be the best but uh easily this Eagles team was probably the best of the best this is honestly thinking about this is probably gonna be the last season where the Eagles are this dominant I mean because this team isn't built by Demetrius Turner. This team isn't loyal to Demetrius Turner. This team is built by Doug Peterson. And you gotta think that all these Doug Peterson guys are gonna end up, you know, whose contracts are running out, are probably end up leaving. Bishop right there, he's a sack ahead of his four sacks a game pace. Not too bad. As in we're in the third period, or third quarter right now. Not, not the worst. To be a sack ahead, so that means just one game later in the season, maybe have a slow game, only get two sacks. Evens out. It does even out in the end sometimes. Third and 17. I mean, 
Dak Prescott's running for his life right there. Second and a half sack of the game for Chance Bishop for the, his 50th sack of the season. Look at the little dance move he's putting on them. I mean, look at that. Look at Dak. Dak is running for his life. There is a wild animal chasing after Dak Prescott right there. And he just takes him down. First and ten. He goes up six to three. Another sack for Chance Bishop right there. Tyron Smith gets her on the play. Bishop's fourth sack of the season. It doesn't even matter if Tyron Smith, you know, hurt. Chance Bishop is beating this right tackle like a Cherokee drum. Fifth sack of the game for Chance Bishop. Dak Prescott does not know what even hit him right now. Look at that. He's doing a, oh, look at that, flying prey man. I'm not sure what cry move that is. But Dak Prescott, ill-advised throws. Swat Cravens, interception, pick six, back-to-back -back weeks. Way to go, young fella. Look at that. Gets a little dance moves in there. We're up, you know, 12 to 3 right now in the fourth quarter. That's just what we needed right there. We needed that interception, that pick six, just to seal this victory. Because the touchdown could have easily won this, uh, this Cowboys team the game. Not right now, though. The perfect season is still intact. Love to see that. As we just get another sack, our six sacks of the game. We end up winning 13 to 3. If you guys like this episode, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you guys missed an episode, make sure you guys hit the playlist down below. Ton of episodes in there. I definitely, guys, love the support. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, peace out, rock on YouTube. Always stay classy.